Good morning everyone from Split Croatia. It's a beautiful Tuesday. It's 6 a.m. 20 and my fridge is empty. So I thought of uh, taking you with me to do my groceries. I'll show you the places where I buy myself and we'll also compare the prices, look at the, the main things, how much they cost, it's like coffee, milk, meat, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. All right, it's, uh, it's 7 a.m. I forgot my, uh, my mask, so I went back to bring it from uh, my place. And I'm heading to the supermarket now. So we are in. Before we start with the, the food, let's start with the essentials. Toilet paper. Since we are still in a global pandemic, so let's see the prices. The most expensive toilet paper is like 26 kuna, so that's something about like, um, yeah, like four, four dollars. It's like 10, yeah, 10 piece. Probably, yeah, it's probably the best quality. Then you have the supermarket quality, which they call budget, and that's like eight kuna, one dollar thirty cents for 10 rolls. Yeah, so that's how much the uh, toilet paper costs here. But you clean your uh, dishes. Here is this brand for six kunas, so that's less than one uh, one dollar. And here, obviously, you have more expensive ones, twelve kunas, so that's uh, that's like almost two dollars. There are some cleaning products. I didn't really need to buy cleaning products because I was staying at an Airbnb, and uh, once a week the owner would send me the housekeeping uh, uh, service. This you will need because, especially if you have a uh, washing machine at your house. You'll need to buy um, some detergent. So the one I was buying was this one. I found this really cool. It's not that expensive, I would say, for uh, for the number of, uh, of of capsules that I had inside. So this is 29 kunas. So 29 kunas, that's something about probably $4 for this one. For those who have dogs or cats, so here is some food for your little puppy. I don't have any, but yeah, I'll just show you here for information as per the like the the fishes and stuff like that so as i said there is like a fresh fish market so it takes you know like the 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 fish straight from the the mediterranean sea now however you have some uh, frozen stuff here now this looks like calamar some other filet for 25 kuna so that's something like uh like uh, four dollars i would say between 3.5 and four dollars uh, this, I don't know what it is. Linear part, no idea. Pizzas, I have cut bread, all of it, like a few months ago. And, uh, but yeah, here's the, uh, here's the price of the pizza here. So this one, uh, it's like a pizza with some prosciutto and pesto for 24 uh, kunas. So that's a little bit more than three uh, euros. So probably 3.5 dollars, uh, 50 cents. Um, what else? This is margarita, but I can't see the price. No, I can see it's 14, 40 kronas. So the pizza margarita is like two euros. What else? What else do we have here? This is a quinoa uh, salad for 17 kronas. So this is less than three euros. Ice cream, of course, ice cream. It's sunny, it's hot, the weather is very nice, so you might want to. Uh, eat some ice cream at home. So let me show you the brands they have here. So there is the Ben and Jerry. I guess the Americans are very familiar with this one. So this pot is like almost half a liter, like 465 milliliters. It's like 44 uh, kuna, six dollars for a half liter uh, ice cream uh, cup. Here are some other brands. This one is like you see you see the difference of prices this is like almost six uh, six dollars this one is as i said this is like the the brand of the supermarket you see it's written uh, spal on it and it's uh it's 29 kuna so that's uh yeah that's something probably i would say four dollars so it's like two dollars cheaper than the other one and it's even bigger so uh, you have macadamia caramel 
yeah you have you have i would say a decent uh, choice so yeah most of the time to be honest i could find uh, yeah most of the things i i need one of my favorite uh, uh, stands the olive oil uh, one so we are in croatia at the mediterranean sea there's no reason why croatia wouldn't have good olive oil uh, so of course it's not just uh, italy or spain but anyway they have um, they have good uh, choice of uh, of oil uh, the one i was buying was uh, let me see let me see yeah so that was the one i was buying so it's like a 200 uh, 250 uh, milliliters so it's like quarter liter and it was for 19 kuna so that's a little bit more than uh, that's a little bit less than three uh, three euros so let's say three dollars and originally from the european union this is the spices uh, stand oregano persil curry one of my challenges here was like to understand uh, uh, the things that were written on the product. Uh, so sometimes I found the same words than in the French language or English language, for example. But uh, yeah, it's not always the case. So that's why you gotta, you know, you gotta ask people. And the good news is that most of the people working in supermarkets, they they speak um, a decent English. Uh, and most of the people I would say you would meet in Croatia, they would speak a certain level of English. Um, sometimes even older people to be honest which is uh, which is I would say was surprising to me because at the time they were not studying English at the school like I mean in the time of Yugoslavia I think it was more probably German I would say German maybe Russian on top of the Croatian language but yeah now they the kids they study uh, Croatian uh, English they even have another language like they could ch choose uh, French Spanish Italian etc here is the milk I was buying this one is uh, almond milk no sugar for that's like three uh, three dollars this is a more affordable option again it's the spar brand which is the, the supermarket brand for 12 kuna so it's half the price of the first one so during the breakfast i usually like to eat cereals so let me show you like this was the the one i would uh, buy for 24 kunas so again as i said these are not the uh, the, the, the cheapest um, I would say uh, brands and <coughs> sorry and add to this does the supermarket is located in the old town and it's not like Lidl it's Spa so Spa is not the cheapest one here in Croatia so um, yeah that's something you should do uh, you should keep in mind jams honey and chocolate so where should we start from honey I don't really uh, buy it I think I bought uh, jams sometimes, so yeah, here we see uh, prices ranging from uh, 2.5 dollars to yeah to to anywhere like around five five dollars. As you can see, there is a quite decent amount of uh, choice for the lovers of Nutella. Here is your chocolate. So the Nutella, yeah, 700 grams for 43 kunas, so that's like uh, six uh, six dollars. Uh, 27 for a cheaper brand tuna fish so this is in cans so this is like six uh, six dollars you have four of them yeah four by 80 let's say you come to Croatia and you want to prepare one of the most important fundamental meals which is pasta so how much is gonna cost you if you want to do it on your own so let's make it basic let's look for spaghetti so there are many brands here this is some organic fancy penne we're looking for spaghetti barilla spaghetti but I, as you can imagine this is not the, the cheapest one however uh, half kilogram costs something around this is like a, I would say more than two uh, two dollars uh, maybe two dollars thirty cents this one half kilogram but this is not the, the cheapest one let's look at let's look for the cheapest one so this is the cheapest one because it's rich in budget usually in Europe supermarkets they have their own brand so this is budget so this is the the spa uh, uh, brand and it is nine kunas so it's almost like half the price of the other one so this is like maybe one dollar twenty cents I would say uh, how many yeah and do you see the, the, the weight is like one kilogram so I take back what I just said because this is twice this is interesting so this is this is twice the weight of this one right so the barilla is uh, is 500 grams this is one kilogram and yet the price of this one is almost half the price of this one so let's say we go for this one one kilogram which i guess would be more than enough to feed yourself and your kids 
uh, then you will need uh, tomato sauce we have all these fancy brands this one is called Muti 680 grams for uh, uh, $2 this is 700 grams a little bit more than $2 but let's look at even for the cheapest one so the cheapest one should be something again the budget brand so this is our our cheapest uh, tomato sauce it's uh, six corners and six corners should be something like like around one dollar so here is a half kilogram of tomato sauce for a dollar so now you have your pasta you have your tomato sauce technically you are done right so you just need to add some herbs and you are done but let's say you want to make it a little bit fancier so you want to maybe add some uh, tuna on it so obviously you can buy the um, the the cans the tuna cans this one right so this one is for uh, like five five euros right so uh, yeah a little bit more than five dollars and it has uh, four of them so it's like 200 uh, 208 grams so it has like four of these right uh, so that's if you wanna if you wanna add some uh, some protein on it um, what you could also add is uh, I don't know like maybe you wanna add some olives like this one so this one is for like one uh, one euro so that's like one dollars uh, twenty cents probably so at the cheapest you can make yourself one kilogram of uh, of spaghetti uh, for how much did we say yeah like one dollar uh, forty cents and tomato sauce for um, for like one uh, like yeah a little bit around one dollar so for 250 um, two, two, sorry for two dollar uh, fifty cents you could make yourself a pasta in case you're looking to do a uh, pasta bolognese for example so you'll need like minced meat I just find uh, found one for you here so yeah this is uh, let me close this one so this is like half a uh, half kilogram for 21 kuna so that's like three uh, three dollars for a half um, half kilogram uh, that i would say it's not bad if you eat uh, if you eat meat so this is like 400 grams of chicken uh chicken yeah it's like the, the white chicken four dollars fifty cents probably i don't eat meat so i may not be the best person to advise you on uh, on where to find uh, good meat here in Croatia but yeah I just wanted to give you an idea about how how much things cost speaking of vegetables so again I usually get my vegetables from the fresh uh, uh, fruit and vegetable market but I'll I'll show you like how much uh, things cost here one kilogram of bananas cost nine kunas so that's that's like maybe one dollar thirty cents how about apples I like them apples so this is same price yeah, same price for uh, lemons. What's happening here? <laughs> they leveled up all the prices the same. Oranges, seven kuna, so that's a little bit more than one euro, it's probably one dollar uh, three cents. This comes from Egypt. Four bread lovers, look at this. Francusque S budget, so I guess this they mean French uh, baguette for less than a euro. This little one, one kuna, oh my god, this. This is like, I don't know, maybe 30 cent for this one. This is less than... <laughs> no, I think I need to calculate because it sounds too cheap. <laughs> Let's see how much 80 cent Croatian kunas. Oh my God, this is 11 cent for one. So which means if you get 10 of these, you'll pay like one dollar. What about this S budget French baguette? Looks like a huge and it costs 2.9 kuna that's like about yeah 40 cents for a baguette this one 250 grams then you have some fancier options here here is how much the croissant costs it's like 249 kunas so that's like something around 30 cents so if you compare this and this is like freshly cooked we'll end this tour with the coffee for the coffee lovers so let's see what we have here so I guess this is ground coffee, 600 grams for 35 kuna. So that's like probably around five dollars for more than half kilogram. Here we go. So this is the local brand Spar from Nicaragua. How much is it? 500 grams for 49. So this is like yeah, little maybe six uh, six dollars. Six dollars for a half, half kilogram. Now, in case you don't have a coffee machine, so you may want to just, uh, you know, buy the instant coffee, the one that you put in your cup with boiling water, and uh, there you have your coffee. So you have this one. 
here for, uh, so that's a little bit more than three euro, three dollars but again as i don't drink uh, coffee so i might not be the best person to recommend you uh, the good coffee deals here uh, but yeah was just to give you an idea about uh, how much uh, things cost overall as i said um, groceries are not that uh, i would say cheap in croatia uh, but again this is a supermarket and not the cheapest one this is not lidl it's spar and um, uh, also it's in the old town so i'm really in the uh, the most historic part of the city so as you could imagine if you wanna if you wanna a little bit push it further you can find it cheaper can you lower the price of the groceries we uh, we saw by uh, 10 percent 15 percent probably yes um, can you lower them by uh, 30 or 40 percent probably not so uh, so yeah hopefully this gives you an idea about the the, the life cost uh, here i guess the you know your groceries will be a good part of it uh, on top of the uh, the, the renting you know like uh, uh, the, the airbnb uh, for now i'll leave you here i'll go make myself a breakfast and the second round will be in two hours i'll leave my house again and i'll go to the fresh and vegetable uh, uh, market because i feel i need to bargain today and make some good groceries because my fridge is still empty so uh, yeah see you later <laughs>